people in the hood, the same thing, knocking on my door asking for free shit. Like, what the fuck do you think this is? Because occasionally I gave you something for free. Now, any, anytime you want something, you're going to knock on my door and ask for it for free. Fuck out of here, nigga. Thank you again, Dread Coffin. I love you. People take advantage of me, y'all. Seriously. People sit up there and take advantage of me in life. And it's okay because the Lord's grace is going to shine through. But don't sit up in here and think I'm some weak bitch because I'm nice. It's real sad out here, y'all, in life. It's real sad out here in life. And nobody care about nobody. I just realized I took... You got to help yourself before you can help others. I hate when people say that. Love you, Desert Punk. You got to help yourself. before. We, we, Desert Punk, what you think I'm doing, bro? You don't think I'm helping myself? I lost 70 pounds. You don't think that's helping myself? I completely changed my look. You don't think that's helping myself? I constantly do live streams. I'm constantly shooting videos. I'm constantly editing videos. You don't think that's helping myself? I don't understand that quote when people say you got to help yourself. Before you... I am helping myself. What are you talking about? I've been homeless and still was out there giving other people money and food for my job. And that's what it is, Dredd, because we're nice people. You, see, you got empathy. A lot of people don't got it, bro. They, they lie and say, oh, I'm empathetic. I, I got empathy. No, you f***ing don't because you're selfish. It's always about you, 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 me, 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 what I want, what I want. It ain't always about what I want. And if it was about always what I want in life, I'll be a lot more happy possibly. What's up, Eddie Hurdy? I haven't seen you in a while, my lovely baby. I, oh, I constantly give my heart to people. I constantly give advice. I constantly give love. I constantly give respect. I try. You see in the video clips earlier tonight, I talked to everybody and wish them blessings and have a good day and have a good life constantly. Meaning you can't help everyone who don't have your back. But I don't I don't understand it because I help myself. So what would that mean when you say, and I don't, I'm not talking about you, Desert Punk. I'm just talking about people in general. You got to help yourself before you can help it. That means never help nobody until I'm a millionaire? That's what that means? People are so selfish, Mr. Blocks. I've seen it time and time again. It's what I want. It's my life. Yo, stop being so fucking selfish all the time. It's so sad. That's why I told you earlier, I had to learn to be lonely and accept that. Because you be around people, they constantly ask you for shit. Because you was nice to them once or twice. Now every day they want to ask you for something. Like, get the out of here. You have read and acknowledged every compliment I've ever written in your live streams. You never missed a single one. You are one of a kind. Thank you for what you do. Oh, thank you, honey bunny. I've missed occasionally people's comments. I try not to. That's why I tell people, I missed your comment. I'm not doing it intentionally unless you're trolling. So write your comment again. Close circles, less hands reaching out for shit. Yeah, but if I see somebody in, in issues, I want to help, you know? It makes me feel good to help, but then when people take advantage of shit, it piss me the fuck off. They be taking advantage. I love everybody. God bless. I'm, that's how I am. I love everybody, bro. I don't got to know you to love you. You're here, and that's why I love you. You were created by the Holy Commander. That's why I love you. I don't have to know you personally to love you. And that's why people are stupid, and it, and it blows my mind that I'm here. I don't like being here. You understand? This world is stupid. The people here are stupid. I hate being here. The only reason I'm here is to try my best to help others and save this world. That's the only reason. I don't like being here. I don't, I don't like it at all. If I could have my choice, I would not exist because I hate it here. But the only reason I am here is maybe I can help somebody that was having a bad day. Maybe I can help somebody that's going through some problems. And that'll make me feel good and accept being here when I don't want to be here. So you're saying if you was to die tomorrow, you wouldn't care? I wouldn't give two fucks if I died right now, Swell KE. I would not care at all. The only reason I would care is because I haven't performed my quest to save the world. But if it's not destined to be, it's not destined to be. There was a time that I would cry about that. I would be like, oh, I don't want to do die because then uh, if I die, I won't be able to say. I don't give a fuck now. It's destined to be, then I'll save the world. If it ain't destined to be, then I'll die, and I'm okay with that. I don't care. I have taken this pill called ashwagandha that has released and cleansed me of a lot of the things that I cared about. I don't give a fuck about a lot of things I used to give a fuck about. I really don't. Uh, of course, I want to save the world. I want to help people. I want to be kind to people. I want to be there for people. But if I die tonight. Right now, I wouldn't care. Oh well, rest in peace, nigga. I tried, nigga. 
<laughs> I tried. That's going to really transforms your mind. I love it. Right, Calvin? I re I'm relaxed. Now, don't get me wrong, Calvin. I still have sad thoughts, mad thoughts, depression, pain, hurt, sadness. It goes away quick, though. Not like it used to be. Where I used to stay in the bed crying every day for years. Nigga, I cry for a minute. A tear will go down my cheek and I get over it. I feel bad for a couple of minutes. I'll feel bad for the whole day, but guess what? It doesn't stop me or impede on my ability to do what I need to do. Like that cornbread funeral uh, uh, slideshow feast. If his ex-wife ain't called me and asked me to do it, I wouldn't have did it. And she said she ain't had no help to get there driving because she was driving the whole time. So I said, I'll help because I'm the godfather of two of his children. And it's the right thing to do. That's the only reason. You think I give a fuck about a goddamn slideshow feast visual? You think I give a fuck about this man's family? And when I say his family, I'm not talking about his ex-wife and children. I'm talking about his... I, I care about his mom, too. His mom's a very nice woman. But I'm talking about all of his cousins and nephews and uncles. I don't know these motherfuckers. I didn't go up there for these people. I went up there because it was the right thing to do. That's why I went up there. Because it was the right thing to do. I don't care about none of this stupid shit. I care about what's right. That's what I care about. He's dead. He don't care who came to his fucking feast or, or in remembrance. He don't care. He's dead. He's in the cosmos asking Jesus to borrow $5. Would you say you feel more depressed during certain times of year than others? Yes, Christmas and uh, Thanksgiving. That's the time everyone's with their family. I don't got a family, so that shit hurt my feelings. So, yeah. You said Cornbread is asking Jesus for $5. He is.